Good afternoon, Robert Scribbler. It is August 29th, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. Now for this segment, I am going to talk about a necessary shift in politics for the United States if we are to confront the global climate crisis with all of our guns firing in the right direction. And, and it's absolutely necessary that we get good climate leaders because climate change, whether we realize it or not, is a critical issue that affects all of us in a number of fashions, including our, our livelihoods, our quality of life, ultimately for, for many people, uh, risk of, of harm or, or potential loss of life, increased instances of loss of life later down the road due, and, and at the present time due to increasing instances of extreme events related to human-caused climate change. But one region in particular in the United States, and one of many regions, but, but one reason that is really on the, on the edge, on the, on the frontier of, of the changes that are now being experienced by Americans all over this country as it relates to human-caused climate change is South Florida. South Florida faces rapidly rising sea levels in low lie in, in, in is a very low lying e region. South Florida sits on porous limestone, so it's very difficult to defend against rising sea levels. And South Florida faces a number of increasing risks of extreme events, such as impacts from increasingly more intense hurricanes, as well as a climate change kick given to events like this year's recent massive red tide bloom and related blue-green algae bloom that blanketed South Florida and toxified both beaches and waterways, forcing beaches to close. It's worth noting that recent primary elections appear to have generated a, a signal for support for candidates that speak out on the issue of human-caused climate change and on solutions to events related to human-caused climate change. In particular, Andrew Gillum, that recently won the Democratic primary for the governor's race, has put climate change related responses to the floor. And I'm just going to go ahead and read a, a bit from his his platform for, for his candidacy. Andrew believes that climate change is real and urgent, uh, is a real and urgent threat. Politicians like Donald Trump who call it a hoax and Governor Rick Scott who banned the words climate change and global warming are putting us and future generations of Floridians at risk. These politicians have failed to take action against climate change with Florida having the most property at risk in the nation. Not only does their lack of action threaten the future of the planet, it also ignores an enormous economic opportunity to make the US the world's leader in clean energy and to put people to work at every rung of the income ladder. Over the last two decades, Tallahassee and Andrew Gillum was the mayor of Tallahassee. Tallahassee has reduced its carbon emission intensity by 40% under Gillum's leadership, has reduced the carbon footprint of, electri of electricity users in the city by 20%. And the mayor has worked both as mayor and city commissioner, commissioner to implement and improve programs like free residential and commercial audits, low interest energy loans and community outreach programs, as well as breaking ground on the new 120 acre solar farm that will triple the city's solar energy capacity. Andrew believes the best way to address the impacts of climate change is to embrace a plan to transition Florida to clean energy as rapidly as possible. So some indicator 
that climate change, which is which is a major issue that, that impacts us all, is going to be impacting us all more and more in the future. And notably that it's critical to work as rapidly as we can to mitigate the harmful effects of human-caused climate change is, is really starting to have an impact on key areas of the country with regards to election. I just want to show you some anecdotal and photographic evidence of, of concern among citizens of South Florida on the issue of human-caused climate change. A, a recent photography essay produced by EVNIN over, over the past week has, has highlighted climate change concern within Florida and particularly in South Florida. And EV notes, undaunted by rollbacks and ap apathy at the federal and state levels, climate advocates in Miami are encouraging local level action, starting with the voting, voting booth. And it's worth noting that the, the votes in the primary ring through for an unmet need in Florida by present political leaders such as Rick Scott, present Republican political leaders such as Rick Scott and Donald Trump for responding to human-caused climate change and for meeting public needs for response. Because as the toxic algae bloom and rising sea levels show, the public is facing danger and risk from human-caused climate change. And it is on our leaders to responsibly act to help the people of the United States whom they represent. Thank you for joining me, and I'll be chatting with you soon.